Hey y'all, happy Friday. We just finished our huge deadline at work yesterday and I woke up this morning with nothing to do. I'm taking PTO today. Haven't even checked my work phone or logged on and I gotta tell you, I'm already bored. <laughs> this happens every single year. We work like, you know, 80, 90, 100 hours a week and then all of a sudden it's just like, boom, over, done. And you wake up the next morning and it's just like jarring because you're so used to like go, 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 like very intense deadlines. Like everything is like urgent and like get this done. Like this, this has to be done right now. And then all of a sudden you wake up and it's like I have nothing to do, literally nothing. So I mean, hey, I'm not complaining though. I, it's, it's nice to take a break. It's definitely well needed. And um, in the spirit of having absolutely nothing to do, I figured I'd um, spend some time on my hobbies and, you know, just doing something that's not staring at my computer screen for 20 hours a day. <laughs> so um, I figured I'd do a sculpt comparison of these two dolls. So on the left, this is the Sophia Grace sculpt by Natalie Scholl. And she was painted by uh, Natalia Razmyslova. Razmyslova. I am never ever going to be able to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but um, yes, she's an artist from Belarus, and as you can see, extremely talented. I've only had this doll for um, I don't know, maybe two weeks. Um, and then this baby, I've had maybe ten months or so. This is the birdie sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles, and she was painted by Yulia Bobkova. Um, so yeah, I got this baby on the secondhand market um, from a collector on Facebook, and then this baby, the Sophia Grace sculpt, was actually a custom. And in my mind, I like, honestly, I wasn't even thinking about how similar these to sculpts are. And then as soon as, I mean, I knew I wanted um, a blonde Sophia Grace too. I think I had mentioned this in other videos, but like, I feel like every single Sophia Grace I see is either like a bald baby or has super dark hair. And I don't know, I'm really into the little blondies. So <laughs> I requested that she have blonde hair. And it wasn't until Natalia like sent finished photos of her that I was like, oh my gosh, this baby looks a lot like my birdie. Like it didn't even occur to me. And then as soon as I got them side by side, I was just like, oh, they make the sweetest sisters. So I figured, and they kind of, in my mind, have similar side profiles. So I figured I'd do a little sculpt comparison video. And um, we can comp compare their painting styles too, because I think they're fairly similar. I mean, you can obviously see differences just right off the bat. But I figured um, the easiest way to kind of see it like super close side by side would be if I showed you this is um, this belly plate belongs to Birdie and was painted by um, Yulia Bobkova, as I mentioned. But I figured if I put it on um, the other baby, you could see the painting like really close side by side. So first I'll show you how the belly plate fits Birdie. I think this one like belly plates, I kind of have like a love hate relationship with because some of them just do not fit the dolls well <laughs> at all. But I think Birdie's fits her like pretty well compared to others. And so now I'll, I'll put it on this baby. And so right off the bat, you can see their painting styles are, I would say fairly similar. This baby is a little bit more, like has a little bit more pinky reds isn't quite as fair as Birdie. But if I zoom out, you can automatically see this baby is definitely longer and bigger. I think Birdie is 17 inches, I wanna say. And the Sophia Grace sculpt, um, the baby on the on my left here is um, 18 inches, I wanna say. So yeah, side by side, I tried to line them up as best I could. But you can see, I mean, Birdie just has like the teeniest, tiniest limbs. <laughs> like here, I'll, I'll zoom in. Her limbs are just so itty bitty. Like you can see, like compared to my hand, like her wrists are just like so tiny. And the Sophia Grace sculpt has very like long limbs. I wouldn't say they're out of proportion, but they're definitely longer than a lot of my other dolls. And you can see Birdie just has like just teeny. 
teeny, the teeniest, tiniest little limbs. <laughs> and then obviously Birdie is um, technically an inch shorter. She might even be two inches shorter. I'll zoom out. You guys can judge for yourselves. But then Birdie has really like outstretched limbs. And I think I mentioned this on other videos, but like technically Sophia Grace has full limbs, but in my mind, like her thighs are just so short. They seem a little truncated to me. They're just shorter in general. Whereas Birdie, like I would say for sure, like that is a full, a full leg. So just side by side, you can kind of see. But yeah. I think they're both beautiful. I cannot wait to dress them up and take photos of them today. I think they're going to look so sweet and they're both like just little tiny blondes. I think they're gonna look really nice and sweet in photos together. So yeah, there they are. A nice quick little video for y'all. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, um, Feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'm not super active on YouTube, but I'm on Instagram almost every single day. And my name over there is um, Ann underscore little underscore nursery, basically the same name that it is here. So yeah, thanks for watching y'all. Bye.